but something we should not have been exposed to. We got too close to by swimming aft a creature's raft. Now here we are. And it was star star from the skies that made each fish the lovely dish before your eyes. Now fiends are fingers, human stars, because of star stuff. Got a name, save the world, not too shabby. I just, I wonder if Teddy and Prentice are all right. I mean, how weird would it be if they, please let them be all right. Bird, we should make a pact. I don't leave you and you don't leave me. Deal? No, come back. I don't want to be alone. Come back. <laughs> this is perfect. No Molly, no Teddy, no Prentice, so what? Nobody between me and the sky. I can just be a boy for a while. That's all I've ever wanted. I've got to get out of here. Sorry, did you want to be alone? No, don't leave me. Go, Master. Thank you. Are you ready for this? Teddy floats. I hold on to him, the two of us jumped overboard, and we bobbed all the way. Prentice. No name. 
I've got one now. It's Peter. So lady, whatever. Hey, see that way out there? That must be the wasp. It's still in one piece. No, no, no. I see where this is going. Where's mother? For the love of... Her name is Molly. And she probably drowned. No, no. She took off the ship right before it went out. She's like a real swimmer. I think maybe she's on... The, she's floating on the wasp for what's left of the Neverland.
shall wear this hat once worn by my brutal British masters. For years I was his kitchen slave. He baked me raw, but I was brave. And soon I put him in his grave with the plate of poison pasta. Thank you. Come, in this time. A time. Feeding time. Where you are intended. You must answer to the law. The law of Mr. Green. Who's Mr. Green? We worship him and he protects us from foreign troublemakers. Come, we feed you now to vicious crocodile. Wait, wait. Please don't feed us to any vicious crocodile. First thing is to Mr. Green. Uh, Crocodile is Mr. Green. We can give you a great gift. Ooh, anti pasta. <laughs> you said the gift. A bedtime story, yeah. Sleeping beauty, right, guys? Yeah. Sleeping beauty. Point is, I brought it all right before the end. Maybe they will too, and we can get out of here. We tell you a story and you let us live. Deal? Okie dokie. But if I am not entertained, it is Mr. Green. Green! For all of you! A swim the magician. Yeah! You will have one minute. One minute! We must leave one minute. Look out, out, oh my god, I'm having the character. Bring a in the holy relic of my captivity. Here, mighty father, the kitchen diamond. Just 
life and death decisions are made by the English and not for the English. Worse yet, the walls of Mr. Grin's cage are very high, too high for any boy or girl to climb. Too dark to see the crocodile in front of your face. And the hard things the boys are sitting on, they feel like bones. All in all, it's a bad day to be British. Steffi, I hope that was your stomach. I want to go home. What's home? You had to deal with us and you lied. Grown-ups always lie. Do something, Princess. You're the leader. Have a plan. Ain't the kitchen time and leave us alone. Oh, no, 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 no. Great. This is all your fault, Molly. Making me feel like a big man who could save the world. Well, I'm not a big man and I can't see anything. Not with the time for a hissy, Peter. You failed. So you try again. That's what my father always says. Then let him save us. <laughs> Molly, you idiot. She's cracking up. No? Maybe she has a plan. I do. I have a plan. Eyes, look at the eyes. I told you. The fabulous is my plan. Well, the start of inside is my plan. You with this boy or is it talking, Di? Oh, I'm with you. I'm with you. Good. It's a better team with you on it, Peter. Now get it going wide! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> you Tasty boy! Fresh today! Come and eat me! And Mr. Grant begins to kill, gurgle, and grow bigger every second. Giant mouth, giant teeth, giant appetite. Till the crocodile shudders out of its bamboo enclosure. And the airborne leviathan. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. What's he saying? 
unless I miss my guess, he's saying, Marla Bell, Bona Henderson, Bona. And then he says, I'm getting Molly Blake and Usen. That's first take Molly to the trunk. And then he says, Cum hella how you watch it. That's remember the mission. Very uh, convenient. Uh, I'm getting Blake and Usen planking. That's take the trunk down to the beach. Marla Bell and Berna, father be there with the long boat. Henna set of Berna will be Henna Berna safe. If we can just get past the pirates and onto the beach. Then Torin in the Blake and Essen sinking who can keep them out the cook and ache thank Papa. <laughs> I love Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Women are tricky, man. I feel kind of stupid not knowing Norwegian. Oh, it's not a contest, though. If it were, I'd win. You're running your fast better than me. Well, you're a better leader. Really? No. Now come on, take me to the trunk. Yes, we need to the top. We 
The object is to learn me, not send them into psychoanalysis. <laughs> Simple's best. We'll go with plan B. The poison fruitcake. The hateful brats arrive. Empty beach, tempting morsel. Maybe a note. Feel free. Tuck in. They eat it, they die. They come, come. Oh, let's give us some kitty sweet. So It's a nice slice of my nice face! Nice one, the ice! Straight out of the makehouse! Yummy, yum, yum! Kiss! I'm not doing that! Stick it, buddy! Ah. <laughs> You're the best fast my brother that I've ever done to the garden! Ooh! Slam C, sweet! Poison! Yes! That was Pat B speaking of... Decision. It's 
It's a better world with you in it, Molly. Now we can let her go. Oh, did you know what that means? Genuine heroic sacrifice. Oh, Force me! How flat and unprofitable the world must seem from the death of the HMS Scenic! <laughs> Go, lad! Take your lady and live another day! Oh, my first mission, I wrecked it! Now open it, Smee! Open and elaborate! <laughs> concert violinist, or a reliable juggler, but I can still win Wimbledon, and I can still destroy you. 
You've made your bed, Pan! Oh. <laughs> Go on, get the hook. North, northwest! Enormous chicken crocodile, Captain. Back for another snack. I'm staging me still, you snaggle to show off. What about your day, sir? Oh, well, wait! I could use a killer croc in me crew. Go fetch it. How am I to learn, sir? Give him the hand, you fool! Oh, wait. Best make it last. Just give him the finger. Ah. <laughs> Adieu, Pan. But believe this. Wherever you call home, keep your back to the wall. For just when you least expect it, <laughs> there I'll be. The stash. Right under your nose. <laughs> Clap if you believe! She was a fish, but she swam in the grotto, and now we're going home. Wait, what grotto? The grotto with the golden water. Did you go in that water? Yeah, it was great. All in England. The star stuff. And he soaked in it. We can't do this. But, but in Oregon, it's all in the waste. The fish, the waste to the fish and the mermaid. I'm sorry, Peter, we can't take the with us. Why? What did I do? But, but he's not evil and me. We don't know what he is or what he wants to be. I just want to be a boy for a while. That's all I have to do. see? With star stuff, a while could be a very long time. I'll be good. I promise. Oh, he does that hurt. Of course he does, but... Wait, land it, old man. You're getting slow. Peter, what if your mermaid was right? She wasn't right. Didn't even hurt you. Grown's lie. They lie and they leave. I thought she said all you needed to get home was star stuff. And I'm still here. Precisely. Did she say anything else? She said I, she said I needed a name. So she gave me one. Pan. Pan is in all of probably. Oh. The whole island, understand? Your family name? The birds in the sky, the ants on the beach, the mollusks, the mermaids, the pirates, the boys. Of course the boys. They're all <laughs> family. And how does that make you feel? Like, like I'm finally out of the dark. There's a name for that feeling, Peter. Oh. And here you are. And here he'll stay. Yeah, me too. Turned to the cat me and didn't want to be alone, did ya? Well, this is just unacceptable. We asked us to do nothing, boys behind Whoa, that crazy bird's after me again. Stop! Don't hurt that bird. Oh, you're going to need something to protect you. And, uh, it seems to me if I take the last of the star stuff like so, uh, 
uh, vigorously, I think it's anti-clockwise. Uh, Peter, lend a hand. Whip the meringue. Whoa, it's all warm and tingly, just like... And so, wizard... My hair! Come here, you! I've been told to eat that trick. Can't be won't eat it! Huh. Nice to know I've still got it. Sally, if you really want to protect me, take him home with us. Right, it's time for goodbyes. Are you a woman? This is my address in London, Peter. And you don't have to write me every day or anything, only when you feel like it. You know my address. Well, the island. What is island do you mean? Maybe I'll call it Neverland. Just remember. Every hero. Where do you get home? Do you remember? I'm now, Molly. The tide won't wait. Now, I want you to look after Teddy and Prentice for me, okay? Five more minutes, please, Molly. Tell me a bedtime story. Tell me, Molly. Tell me. There will be other tides, won't there? You see, she wants to stay. She can't. I don't want it to end. Soon, Peter. You'll forget, and it won't hurt anymore. No, it's supposed to hurt. That's how you know it meant something. This isn't the end. You're going to remember everything, every single little detail. You're a better leader. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> you won't stay mad at me forever, will you? Come on. Get lost. I'm bound to grow up soon. What could we do? We'd be friends. In a year that'd be hard. In five would be silly, and in twenty you'd be just plain sad. You sound older already. That thing you did. Against impossible odds. It's something the two of you will always share. The thing we did. Against impossible odds. Peter watches the wasp get smaller and smaller as he thinks about his adventure, about Molly, about that kiss. It would be the only moment that Peter would teeter at the top of the roller coaster, on the verge of becoming what he always hated, a grown. And then his promise he began to forget and stayed right where he was, an outsider. But Molly, true to her word, would remember everything until one night, many years later. She stared at her nursery window as she watched Peter fly off with her daughter in tow. And this grown up Molly would comfort her new nana, the good old dog who tended to her children. Don't worry, Nana, darling. I always hoped that if Peter came back to visit, my daughter would take my place. And once Wendy grows up, I hope she'll have a little girl. A little girl who will go off with him in turn. So, may we go on and on as long as children are young and innocent. And rude and juvenile and heartless, past all the jostles of life. Till we fly back home. <laughs> What you want to be? A lawyer. This is going to be one awfully big adventure. You said it. All right. Ready? Ready. Ready. Set. 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 Go. Uh, uh, uh. 